has my name attached to it. So it's it's a surreal thing. It's incredible. I'm gonna make you So the six shoe now. Mm -hmm. Talk about it, man. Well, it's uh, here it is. I mean, this one particular has been used <laughs> and skated in and worn in. But uh, I don't know, man. I'm loving them. I'm loving them. They're very light, very comfortable. Uh, the lunar lawn, of course, is always a blessing because it protects my heels. I like to jump downstairs a lot, so my heels don't get blown out all the time. Um, and suede, that's really the key component for me. Suede is good, great material for skating. Now, I'm gonna I'm tell you something about me, man. It's, it, it's, for me, it would be like a dream come true to, to design a, oh, a yeah. shoe. Oh, yeah. Like, for you, how was it? I know you, this is your sixth shoe. How was right. it the first time around? I mean, every time around, it's still exciting. Um, you know, it's not, one of those things, like, as you're doing it, it's not sinking in, and then, like, you get the finished product in your hand, and you're like, holy, like, I, like, this was in my brain, you know Man. what I mean? Like, especially, well, you're working with the shoe designer, so, like, this shoe is in combination in both of your brains, and now here it is, and it has a Nike swoosh on it, one of the most recognizable logos in the world. How much power do you have behind like the designing part of it? Uh, well, they give me a, a whole, like as much as I want to be involved, Yeah. they let me, or as little as I want to be involved, they, they let me, but uh, I like to be involved. But you know, with the shoe designer, I understand that he's a shoe designer for a reason, <laughs> and I'm a skater for a reason, so I, I do not like to cross the line too much because you gotta know what you're good at and what you're not good at, you know? So I know what I like as far as how I want the shoe to function, how I want it to feel, how I want it to skate. So I get that to the shoe designer as clearly as possible. And then they pick my brain. They ask me like what music I like, what food I like, what clothes I'm into, what other shoes I'm into. Yeah. Like, they just, every angle of my life, they, they try and get inside my head so they can get an idea of what the look of the shoe I would want, you know? What does a park like this mean to you? Uh, it means Because before you didn't have one, right. you, they, they didn't have a lot of skating parks in the up. No, they didn't. When, when I came up, there was no public skate parks for sure. There was one skate park in Simi Valley, uh, and you had to pay to go there. Um, and I would go there, and that didn't open up until after a year or two after I started skating. But uh, So I would go there on occasion, but really I was all in the streets. Just random parking lots if there was a good curb there, yeah. or a local you know, park, or a local... Uh, like rec park, not skate park. Right. And a local, you know, elementary school or junior, whatever, wherever I could skate to physically, I would skate there. You know, that's the only place I had available. So public parks have obviously evolved nowadays. They become really like street simulated. You know, they yeah. simulate the stuff that you'll actually come out and skate in the street. So it's just next level. So now they're, they're popping up all over and I have access to private ones, which is Man. amazing. So now I just you have get a key to this place, place, right? Yeah, we got the access code to this place. Oh, man. Uh, and I'm fortunate enough to have my own place in the valley, so I got options, you know? And uh, hey, I'm just spoiled, man. At this point in my life, in my skate career, I'm just spoiled, man. I'm a spoiled brat. Uh, I know you're you're a bit you're a big uh, fan and friend of Wheezy, Lil of Wayne. Of course, of course, man. How 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 does that kind of trip you out at times? Like, man, like so and so is a big fan of me. So and so, I know you're you're a big fan of Jay Z and you want to meet him, right? Yeah, of course. But going back to Wheezy, how, yeah. how is that? Unfathomable. Like, I, never in my wildest dreams did I think that our world would ever cross paths. You know, like he's also like one of the most famous people on this whole planet, you know, and I'm in this little small pond. I'm a big fish in a small pond, you know what I mean? He's a big fish in a big pond. Yeah. And the fact that he gained an interest in skateboarding, and I have been a fan since over a decade, you know, he's been around forever, but I, I started really getting into him. 500 Degrees came out, and I was like, damn, this is tight. And then I went back and picked up all the earlier catalog, and then just been picking up every everything he comes out with since. I'm, I'm on top of it, so it's like, I'm a true actual fan, like, 
bought all kinds of tickets to concerts, bought all the albums. But now, I watched now every interview on YouTube, every Double XL magazine, every like when the, he always you know brings his music and, and he'll just have music playing and he'll just be rapping to it. And like what the trippiest part is, we'll be skating at the park and one of his songs will come on because he'll just have a big playlist and play whatever, all kind of people's music. And one of his songs will come on and I'll kind of like almost forget that he's there and I'll just zone out and like lip sync to it myself. You know how you always jam out the songs. <laughs> and then I look over like, You're like oh, that's the guy right oh, there. Yeah, he's right there. And then I'll look at it, and I'll, his song will be playing. I'll, I'll look at it and I'll be like, damn, this that whole song was in his brain. That was right there in his brain. And that's incredible. Like I trip out on things like that, man. I love being a fan and getting starstruck. I love it. Like even to this day, I'll be around Eric Costin. I'm still like. All his video parts he's ever had, yeah. they, they played through my mind. I'll be looking at him and be like, wow, that's the dude. He did this and that and this. That's crazy. Man. I love it. I, it's so inspiring because my whole life growing up, I was I didn't have like an older brother or something like that. So like my older right. brothers were the people I looked up to, you know, Michael Jordan, Bruce Lee, Jay-Z, Weezy, all these and you, of wait, And so, so one of the last things is you want to shake Jay-Z's hand. Of course, yeah. That's one of the things that you want, that's one of your, your, your goals that you want to do. It's a handshake, yes. Hello. <laughs> well, dude, uh, inspiration. lastly, um, Twitter, I, I just started following you on Instagram. Oh, okay. And it's, what is it, is it just? P-Rod 84. P-Rod 84. Follow him at P-Rod 84. P-Rod, you're a humble and cool dude, brother. Thank you. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. Yeah.